Thank you for learning Siebel with the Siebel Hub. We have a unique, comprehensive and always up-to-date collection of Siebel CRM 2021 training classes. We can deliver live online and on-site training in the highest quality with the most experienced instructors. And we also offer a unique modular Siebel CRM 20 and 21 training. Follow the links in the description or on this slide to learn more and learn Siebel with the Siebel Hub. In this demonstration, uh, we will show how to migrate a smartphone UX customization from a development to an integration test environment. So uh, the sample code is provided in the uh, Black Sheep GitHub uh, smartphone UX project. There you can find uh, style sheets and JavaScript to make uh, smartphone UX in 20.9 or later uh, look a bit more modern, so to speak. And this is also documented in a Siebel Hub posting. You will find links in the description of this video in case you're interested. So we use this as an example for an open UI customization that involves some JavaScript, CSS, and manifest data. So you see on the left, the development environment has already been updated with the enhanced look and feel using this customization. And the right-hand side shows the test environment with the vanilla look and feel of smartphone uh, UX. So just creating uh, two activities to compare the visual differences that are obvious between the customized and the vanilla version. So now we need to transport those customizations using the migration application from development to the test environment. So let's take a look at the objects involved in uh, the development environment. So there is a custom style sheet and there is a custom JavaScript file with the uh, new context renderer uh, that achieves the transformation. And uh, these files are also registered as usual in the OpenUI manifest in the development database. So, and the files, of course, are in the AI of the development server. So web apps, Siebel script, Siebel custom has the custom JavaScript file for instance. And the manifest, we find the custom, the registration of these files. That's a style sheet. And the file just below is the uh, custom JavaScript context renderer. So in manifest administration, these two files are referenced as well. Uh, the JavaScript is referenced in a new entry for default view physical renderer, where we have registered the view PR and the new context renderer. And the style sheet is referenced in a new custom entry for platform dependent application theme, where it is combined with the Redwood theme that comes with smartphone UX. Uh, remember that for smartphone UX uh, in 20.12, at the time of this recording, you need to use the Siebel mobile applications. So now let's go to the migration application and see how we can migrate. So there are two parts, basically there are files and there is database related stuff, uh, which is the manifest. And we start with the file migration. You could combine this in one migration plan, but for demonstration purposes, we separate the plan, create two separate plans. So this is a full uh, synchronous migration. Uh, so we choose file prepare and deploy, and we execute that plan. And since it's a synchronous migration, it will generate the file watermark in the target. And it will take a notable while, so a few minutes maybe. And that will have all the checksums of all the files in the target test environment. And 
then it will be used to find which files have been actually modified. And if you look into the log files, you'll find that two files in our case have been actually modified and will be exported and they are just in the process of being imported into the target. So this is a bit of a high-speed version. We have been increasing the, the replay speed here, not to bother you with waiting. And we see that two files have been successfully migrated into the test environment. So here we are in the test environment, AI, and verify that the uh, CSS file has arrived. And we go to the scripts directory in the test environment, AI, and we verify that the uh, custom JavaScript file has been successfully uh, migrated. So now let's take care of the manifest. So the manifest is part of the repository tables, but it's mandatory design repository. So it's not managed by workspaces as of 20.12. So we execute an incremental um, migration plan, but uh, this time we don't have any change in the um, workspaces, so we create a dummy update. So we create a development workspace uh, directly under the test branch, and we will just use it to make a very simple dummy update just to trigger a new version, uh, because the uh, manifest data again is not workspace managed, it does not produce a new version of any workspace. So we just update an arbitrary comment, in this case a business service, and we checkpoint submit and deliver this very quickly. Okay, so we're creating version 4 of the integration test branch, and now we can start our synchronous migration plan, it will recognize version 4 is different, has pulled the watermark from the test environment, enter the password for the table owner, and off we go. And the interesting part is that the mandatory design repository data, including manif OpenUI manifest, is always exported in full. So you see all these hundreds and thousands of records uh, being exported from the SUI tables and subsequently being imported. So there's always a kind of full synchronization happening of the manifest in version 20.12 or earlier. This is recorded on 20.12. Okay, so that plan has finished. And let's just yeah, log in again quickly without restarting any servers just logging in again to the smartphone UX application on the test environment. And it should pull the new manifest and it pulls the file. So the test is successful. We have the changes, migrated files and manifest to the test environment.